What is up guys, Dark Ruler here, aka Blackheart909, and today we're going to be testing Hogwarts Legacy on the Steam Deck OLED using the LSFG plugin. So, I've used the Decky Frame Gen plugin on this before. I've gotten it to be playable at around 60 to 70 FPS, uh, but I did have to play with my settings dropped a lot, um, and also I had to play with a few adjustments in terms of uh, image scaling. I'd, I'd play on performance FSR 3.1 and now I've switched over to quality FSR 3.1 at 800p and now we're going to be testing the game. So we're doing full medium settings. Everything's on medium and um, the first time I actually launched this game it had started off with everything being at ultra and surprisingly it actually ran well. Um, so we're just waiting to get loaded into the game. It's starting a launch, probably synchronizing some stuff with the cloud, and we're going to go ahead and play this. So I've done a little bit of testing beforehand with Hogwarts Legacy, and what I've noticed is LSFG doesn't really add too much to the latency. Um, with this game, when you're uh, traversing areas, when you're going from an area of, uh, like, let's say, one floor to another, you're going to notice stutters. And that's how it usually presents itself, as a stutter between two areas because it's loading in new textures. You'll see what I mean in a second. Um, but what I did notice was if you activate LSFG, those stutters are gone, but they present as increased moments of input latency for a little while. So we don't have LSFG running right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into Ravenclaw Tower. This is a really demanding uh, area. So I'll just quickly show you guys my settings for LSFG. It's currently turned off and we have 2x and I, I believe at least for me 2x is as far as I'm, I'm willing to go for LSFG and the latency is perfect. We also have flow scale at 85. It was recommended by the dev um, and deck wizard might have made a mistake on his video suggesting 100% flow scale or all the way down to 5% but um, it's super new and things are going on on this scene as we speak. So we have HDR on, performance mode on. Do we need HDR? Let me just verify that. So you can check if you're running HDR here. We have to use HDR for this. And we have performance mode on, which I think for the Steam Deck would almost always be essential. So we're going to walk around. As you can see, we're getting 40 FPS. Uh, 38 it changes depending on areas when you load into a new area there is a latent uh, a frame time spike which is probably indicative of uh, loading in new textures and, and stuff so the frame time spikes are really uneven right now it's going up and down and it does feel like added latency here as well but there's also like a point of stutter so here we have 36, 38, 40 FPS. Let's move downstairs. And we're getting 35 FPS. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and turn on lossless scaling. This does require a restart of the game. So we'll do this and uh, quit the game. I think it's best to quit from this menu, but we might just Okay, let's just do it from the menu for now. Yeah. So we've quit the game, and now we're going to go ahead and relaunch into it. Sorry for being super dark, but I find that having the exposure lowered is usually better to capture screen content. I was actually trying to set up my capture card today with my Steam Deck, and I did it. But then I felt like that would affect the performance we're getting a little bit out of the stream, Steam Deck. Since it was upscaling to a different render resolution, it wouldn't be 100% indicative of the performance we're supposed to be seeing. So now, now that I've relaunched, you can see that the frame time graph is showing super huge variability. Uh, you'll actually see it in a second. And we're running at a pretty high base frame rate. So it's running at like 98 uh, percent. So we're generating twice as many frames as before and we can go back to our save game and run that area one more time. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. 
spoiler alert, I've seen how it goes already, but um, it's actually impressive and I really like it. So now we're doing that same run. We were sitting at about 60 FPS back then. Now we're sitting at 85 in this room. Uh, this is an input latency test. I'll just press A. So it's pretty fast. It's 120 FPS right now. Obviously, this is going to go down as we move through this area. But look, that stutter is almost completely gone. And this is like a big stutter zone. We're going down to 55 FPS for a few seconds. Um, and I honestly don't feel the stutter anymore. I feel some moments of slightly increased input latency as I'm traversing these areas. But as soon as the textures load in, the input latency goes back down to what it's supposed to be. And um, I think that makes it super playable. Guys, I'm so happy this plugin has come out for the Steam Deck. It's made so many games more accessible for me. I'll just show you guys my settings um, in case you guys want to verify how it runs. But I, as I said, it's all medium, FSR 3 quality. Um, everything else is on medium and it runs like a dream. Um, this has definitely added a lot of life to the Steam Deck. It's not gonna make games that are unplayable playable all of a sudden, but if you were able to get at least 60 FPS, um, sorry, at least 30 FPS and above, I have found it runs really good at Red Dead Redemption. It runs really good in uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna be testing Baldur's Gate next. And if you can get above 30 to 35 FPS by default on your games, then uh, you'll notice a huge improvement in terms of motion clarity in those games. Um, as for Hogwarts Legacy, it does help stabilize the performance and it also helps it look a lot smoother, honestly, guys. So let me know what you guys think of LSFG. Let me know what you think about um, the Steam Deck in general. It's changed the experience of this game for me almost completely. If I turn off the performance graph over here, hold on. Yeah, if I played this like this and I didn't look at the performance, even though the performance isn't bad. Okay, this is gonna take some time to load into that area. Come on, open up door. Okay, I feel like this is a super good version of the game. Obviously, you do see some frame rate drops in these high intensity areas, but we're stress testing the absolute most difficult areas in the game, and it looks phenomenal. Um, yeah, super happy. LSFG, definitely worth it, guys. Dark Ruler, aka Blackheart909, signing off. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, I forgot, and tell me what you guys think of LSFG. Peace.